We are back for hexagon holiday tree skirt part two. I've got to now trim up my edges to make them all nice and even. Some of them are pretty okay. Some of them definitely have some extreme angles coming out of them. So I'm gonna trim those up and then we're gonna turn these into one big piece and then I'm gonna decide whether I'm going to long arm it somehow or just stitch in the ditch. I'm kind of 51% leaning towards stitch in the ditch, but I haven't fully decided yet. So I guess we'll see in this own video how that goes. So now that I've got all my wedges trimmed, I've got to connect them all together into one almost circle or hexagon. So there's two wedges that have the same fabric almost in row with each other. So that's gonna be my one that I keep apart. So then when I bind it, the binding will slightly separate it and they'll end up being towards the back of the tree anyways. So I'm going to situate all those. So those seams together and then Momentarily, we will have a full hexagon top. All right, here we are, here it is. It's all sewn up. I'm going to go ahead and measure it now and make sure that it's going to fit on a wide back or figure out what size wide back it's gonna need because I definitely think that it is more than um, 44 inches wide. So we're gonna see what the measurements are. Trixie's apparently gonna help. And then we will go ahead and get this starting to quilt. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just stitch in the ditch with it uh, one, it'll kind of keep it a little more. I'll get a little more control on keeping it flat. And two, it'll also kind of keep with the partially traditional vibe to it, even though it's kind of got the modern. So keep that going between the two. So let's go ahead and measure this now that I've got help. Shorter side, excuse me. Excuse me, pig. We are about 56, 58. Yeah, definitely gonna need a wide back. And then, since 54 inches is a yard and a half, 10 inches more. So I'm gonna hopefully find either a red or a green. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll do it off white. But that is what the plan is. So I've got my big red backing. I got a yard and two thirds so that it's 60 inches, which should fit the, the shorter side and the 60 whatever will definitely go the length. And of course, as usual, Somebody's hiding in the fort and is making this so difficult. Come on, Trixie. So now I'm going to lay this out on the floor. I'm going to shut her out so that she can't help and get this all spray basted.
So the hexagon is all laid out. I had to go back and repress my seam sideways because I pressed them open and that doesn't quite work as well for stitch in the ditch. So I'm going to spray base this down so that it is all ready to quilt. As you can see, there's a bigger gap on the one side. I'm hoping that when it's under the tree, that'll probably be less noticeable. So I'm gonna get to spray basting now. We are back in the brick room. As you can see, my birthday decorations are still up, but we are on the point where I need to finish off my tree skirt and I need to make bias binding, which is something that I've not done before. So I've got the big piece that I have left over from my wide back that I bought. So I'm going to follow, I think it's the McCall's instructions that the pattern links to. So I need to cut this into a 30 something inch square and then figure out the instructions from there. So I've got to get my sewing machine set back up somewhere so that I can sew things together and get some strips going because that's the last thing I need to do for this tree skirt to be done.
Well, this part got a little chewed up, so now I'm gonna re-pick up my line and I guess I will chop that section out and put it back together. I've got bias binding, got my tree skirt. So now we're gonna put the two together. So far, I'm not sure I'm a fan of bias binding. It kind of wasn't the best process that I really enjoyed. So maybe there's a better process than what I did. But anyways, we're going to get this on the tree skirt. I'm gonna start by doing the intersection first and then the outside last. So then the hardest part is done first. So, Let's get binding this tree skirt. Here we are, my Christmas poncho is complete. Just kidding, it's my tree skirt. But, I mean, it's all the rage to have quilted outerwear right now. Maybe I'm just on trend. So, the bias binding, I'm still figuring out the best way to do it, given that I've done it one time. But, I can understand the reason why it was used on here, because it just moved around this part so much easier. And with all these, like, inner corners here it just kind of smoothed it out there and i didn't have to worry so much the bottom corners weren't too bad either so there's like the most aggressive corner and then the other ones were let's see if i can find the lesser one and then the other ones were more of your slightly so we've got like slightly smaller than 90 degrees slightly greater than 90 degrees or maybe i said that backwards i really don't remember my well, angles, um, which way is which. So we're going to, I'm gonna get pictures of this. I need to figure out how I'm gonna close it. That's so, I'm counting it as done, but I haven't determined my closure. So I don't know whether I'm gonna do hook and eye or Velcro, that's what's on my mom's is Velcro. So it, the pattern itself had ties, but I knew a certain little four-legged friend of mine would play with those ties. My four-legged friend that's right here. Come here, you. This little four-legged friend, see, she's still in her birthday decorations as well, her birthday outfit. So I knew who she, I knew Trixie would play with the ties. So I have to figure out an alternative. So if this was your tree skirt, what would you do? Would you put Velcro on it? Would you put ties on it? Would you put snaps on it? Would you put hook and eye? What are your what are your favorite closures for tree skirts? So I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get some pictures of this. Probably will have some Trixie on it. She's hanging out right here, and then 
we'll be on to the next project sooner than you think.